if you don't have really good and accurate intonation and pitch accuracy, to me, if that's not the case, then it, it almost doesn't matter what else is good. If pitch is off, it's just wrong. <laughs> it's just off and it's just, it just sounds wrong. It sounds more wrong to be off pitch than it does to be on pitch and have a slightly wrong placement. See what I mean? You could have a lowered larynx, but as, it, it just sounds maybe not natural, but as, as long as you're still good, you know, on the pitch and you have accuracy and you're tuned, it still sounds like there's some sort of harmony going on, right? And so that's why I think intonation is a major thing, a really major thing that every singer needs to work on, every string player needs to work on, because it's the factor that everyone on the outside is going to hear. And when you ask someone who doesn't know anything about music or singing, when you ask him if someone is a good singer or not such a good singer, or when, like, if someone sings really bad, usually they determine that by hearing the tuning. Even they may not be an expert. They can't tell you, are they sharp or flat? They don't know how to name it, but anybody, even someone who's almost, you know, who would call themselves almost tone deaf, like when it comes to music, they can, they have a feeling for, well, this sounds right or this sounds really wrong. <laughs> and so even someone like that can hear if it's, off or not maybe not when it's just slightly off but when someone's a lot off pitch someone can tell and never underestimate your audience they may not be able to explain what it is but that makes something great or not so great but they have they they feel it they can they hear it with their ears and they 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 have this it's almost like there is a blueprint that we have in our brains because we have listened to music all our lives and we are accustomed to the system of music, how it works, like how counting works. It's always kind of symmetric. It always goes in pairs of four, sometimes triplets. But even someone who is not a musical expert, they have this they have this experience of kind of having this pattern in their minds of this is kind of how it has to fit in. And if something is really off or outside of that, it's almost like speaking a different language. You can't quite grasp what that's not, that makes no sense. And um, so you want your audience to make sense of what you're singing. And especially when it comes to tuning, so, so important. And I think this is something that never stops. It doesn't matter how great you are, how, how amazing. There are a lot of singers who are extremely good at having very accurate intonation under any circumstances. And that really comes with a lot of experience. But beside like there you have to come to this point first it's not just experience i think experience really helps when you are at this level of awareness that i'm with this weekly challenge i'm trying to get you to of really understanding how how do i feel tuning it's not just the hearing it's almost like you feel it because you hear <laughs> you hear the frequencies and it's, it happens like in your skull <laughs> at some level. And that's why I'm, I'm posting all these exercises this week. It's very basic, but I think it's a really good foundation for what you need to listen for in the future. The interesting thing is it's usually for many singers, it's going to be easier to sing along with another singer versus another instrument. Because of the fact that a singer, a singer's timbre is much more similar to your voice than an instrument's timbre. 
it sounds very different. The sound of the characteristics. And what's the most similar to you is you. And that's why I'm starting out all those exercises with you recording yourself and then you singing along with your own recording of your own voice because it is very similar. It's not exactly the same because you are not actually here double. You're just on the recording. And then, so the recording sound is just slightly different, but it is the most similar that you can get. That becomes really challenging when it's a male and a female voice together. It's a lot easier when you're either two male voices or two female voices because the way your voice sounds, it's much more similar. And when a female, of course, you have to find a pitch that is even the same, which is going to, there's not going to be that many pitches that you can sing that overlap, that are truly unisono and unison. But try to do these exercises um, singing with another person. So do it first with recording yourself and singing along with yourself, but try it also if, if, you know, if you can find someone who will do it with you, try it also with a partner who has just a little different sounding voice from yours. And probably that's already harder than you singing with yourself. Makes me feel sad for the rest.